Hello, my name is CarX82, and welcome back to our Omni Factory playthrough. Now, I have just moved to the new place in the last episode. Just noticing there is a whole bunch of broken stuff up there. I didn't notice that before. I have to fix that. Um, but yeah, so we moved here, and these chests are absolutely a mess so i need to do something about this and uh kind of think there are um some chests from uh, greg tech and they're actually pretty easy to make but uh oh they have quantum chests too md that's actually not that bad for uh a chest that uh, stores four million items, but uh, I think for now uh, we'll probably just do a few crates, and I don't want to like spam these too much because I have to have this in my uh, other world. But they're just so good early game, um, so I think we'll do at least a couple for um. I didn't do more than. Yeah, we'll do like at least a couple, at least one for all my ores and stuff, which are kind of uh, all over the place at the moment. So, on there, and I'll probably. The other nice thing is about they, uh, you can get into them with the thing above them. That's the other reason I like these. Um, but, yeah, because holy cow, is my stuff a mess. I should probably have one with like tools and all these little like wires and cables and all that kind of stuff rods so stuff like that um probably go in there maybe that and then have one for like all my ores and stuff like that um but obviously i'm not going to do this while i am recording i just wanted to kind of point that out I also, uh, thanks for mentioning the Magnum Torch is actually really cheap in Magnum, what is it? Something, Magnum, Mega, Mega Torch is really easy to craft up, just needs a bunch of gold. Don't we have gold ingots somewhere? I thought we had gold ingots. Do I not have any gold? I have to. Just when we had a bunch of gold, unless I used it all. And I need to. I just noticed that right there. And see, this needs to get sorted out. <laughs> there we go. Needs to go that way. Uh, right? Yeah, extract. Always active. Although it doesn't say there's any RF on there. I guess maybe you need to put the batteries in there for it to work. I actually don't know, to be honest. All right. Um, well, I thought I had gold. We just buy some gold. Oh, there it is. I knew I had it somewhere. YouTube blindness. There's that. And... Yeah, let's get all these out of here. That, that can go with that. Yeah, all the, well, I'll hold on. No, we don't really need that quite yet. Uh, maybe do that in there. So uh, we do need a couple diamonds I'm going to do that. And I, I did light everything up, but I like having, you know, no mobs spawn anyway, so um, I don't know. We'll just throw it about right there for now. That looks actually pretty close to center of this room, actually. 
uh, what are they, 32 blocks or 64 blocks? I can't remember what they are. But anyway, that'll help with some of the mob spawning. Um, not that, like I said, is an issue. But all right, so last episode, we crafted up the CEF. And we have the Steam Dynamo, so we can actually start producing some of the Greg Tech power. Now, we need a couple batteries in there, I believe. And I'm not sure, are these like the only ones you can use? Or what? Someone said something about a capacitor. A capacitor. Flux capacitor. I don't know if those actually go in there or anything. Um, that would be kind of funny if you could put those in there. I don't know why you would uh that would actually work, but I have sulfur. I don't remember if I have sulfur. No. Sulfur. You can buy some sulfur. I have no idea if this is actually gonna work. But, uh, go ahead and try. All right. I'll just use the two. I don't want to use this stuff more than I need to if I'm buying it with coins. Actually, let's look at the quick. Oh, right. I didn't do those yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's the capacitors. So it does look like you can do it. Although I need to finish that quest, dang it. That is right. So it looks like you can only do these unless you do it in the like assembler packager, which we don't have yet. So you're gonna have to do it like this and then that. So what do we need? Four times four, we need 16 of this. Ooh, that's actually quite a lot. Yeah. There's all these. Let's pull these out so I can close. Oh man, I don't have any more redstone either. I should put these like over here so I can ac access them easier. Oh, nope, not that one. That one. Cheaper. There we go. So we needed what sixteen? Not really, but um, we need a little bit less than sixteen. But I'm just gonna go ahead and. 16 of that, I think. We'll probably end up using it at some point. Alright, so there is that. Now, the batteries, what are the batteries? I'm assuming they're... Ah, tin plates and the red alloy cable. Right. Tin plates, red alloy cable. Do we have any? Oh, I have some conductive iron here as well. Man, let's get organized here. Um, red alloy... Let's just do one, one for now. I want to save as much as I can on these resources. All the tools I think I'm going to put in there so I can find them easier. And yeah, I should really should really be using the work tables but I'm not I haven't quite done anything that I am going to be using a lot of um who knows actually maybe I will be using a lot of red oil cable um and it's we're gonna need a bunch of these as well let's do I'm kind of doing two things at once here, so I'm jumping around between two different things. So one is that for that, but uh, we need this.
hope this is going to be enough for this quest. This is a, a lot of... As well. Not really, but... Alright. There is that. That. And... Didn't I have... Yes. Alright, I do have enough. That. And... Is that like a... No. Weird, right? It's like there, but not there. Ah, it does want four. Dang it. All right, uh, let me do a bit more crafting. And uh, what else does it want? Does it want four of these as well? No, just one of those. Actually, we can do that on that flux capacitor. Let's do this one. Oh, do I have lead? I don't think I've gotten any lead, have I? Lead ore it is. I mean, it just gave us a coin. We might as well use it, right? There we go. <laughs> Yay, lead. Flux. The lead, copper. Oh, copper in there should be. There, I think. Uh, how I wanted to do that. There. Is that everything? Yes. All right. So there is that. Oh, there's a magnet. Kind of cool. So can we put that in there? No. Oh. Why not? I feel like that should have the least power should be going into it, unless, I mean, that's not the input, is it? No. All right, let me craft up some more of these things I need. Well, actually, I don't. I can just do it really quick. need we need six so we need 12 man i need to i definitely need to get some of these machines going like asap so i don't need to do as much a plates like double the plates is a bit rough to be honest even though you can buy the resources it's still like it just feels bad and <laughs> that using two all right so that was easy Oh, wait, I can't make these, can we? We need to... Oh, you can just do that. No, should we just do... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we do know... I do know how the power works. But it doesn't say... Best ones, and they have the most storage capacity. Wait, cadmium is... Lithium usually is. is Oh, cadmium. Hmm. That's, that's a thing. You can do it in a candy machine or apparently in a crafting good. You don't even need a candy machine. Um, oh, okay. We can't get cadmium yet. Yeah, can't do that. Lithium. Could get lithium. Oh, that's easy. Easy peasy. Sodium, no. lithium it is, so eight lithium, All right, I did say I was going to cut here, but I ended up, oh, that's not what I want to do, well, I think that works, we'll do the, um, we'll just do that. Do I have any wrought iron anywhere? Just thinking, because this thing is getting low, and I would like to 
repair it and that's weird right <laughs> that's gone let's see so can this be repaired no it doesn't look like everything can be repaired How about like this iron wire yeah see those can be re repaired which i may actually do um, but these mortars do, do not look like they can be repaired, but all right, that's good to know. Uh, so there's lithium. There we go. All right, we got the batteries. Let's see if... Yeah, no, I feel like... Does this need to be running to output the power? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, and also, I can find it. I heard that you can run this off sugarcane. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like it has to be running to power that. Alright, didn't realize that. Yeah, and unfortunately, <laughs> the way power works in Greg Tech Community Edition is definitely not my favorite. Because um, it doesn't fill all the batteries at once, it does goes from the top to the bottom, which that's, um, yeah, you might run into issues if you are not supplying it. Um, but we may get into that later. Uh, do I have any, like, let's just make some charcoal for now. I do want to set up a, I think it'd be funny. And this is totally like a suggestion on uh, my discord was to run this off sugar cane. So I do want to do that, actually. Um, but I need to go get some sand. Why don't I actually go do that? Um, is there uh, an easy way to get... Well, I guess I could just go... Is there like a 3x3 three three shovel is kind of what I... Like how there is the lumber axe that does the vein mining. Is there like a 3x3 three three shovel kind of thing? Because I don't think this does... This mining hammer doesn't do sand. All right, uh, let me go get some sand. I want to craft up some snad, but that is 162 blocks of sand. All right, so yeah, I guess let me go get that and uh, we'll be right back. And we are back and I have a whole bunch of sand and it was actually just right outside the uh, thing because I'm actually built on like a, a sand thing. Um, just filling this in. Does anyone else do this? Like with creeper holes, they have to fill in like every single block instead of just like doing one layer over top of it to cover it up. I don't know. I feel like I always have to fill in like every single block. I don't know. I don't want stuff spawning, even though I know they can't spawn like one block tile, but just totally something I do. All right, so we got that. Snod. We need what 18 of these. Two of those. And there we go. So snap. This right here. Now put sugar cane on it. So it needs to be by water. I thought uh snad you didn't need water, but maybe I Taken. Um, do I want this? Kind of want it in the ground. I guess. And then we'll, we'll put water there if that's it. That is not. Okay. I was like, maybe I put the wrong. Now, do I have buckets or did I? No, I have one bucket. Couldn't remember if I used it or. And <laughs> like, do I have a infinite water source in there? I don't think I do actually. Ooh, I need to put come on, get in there. I need to put trap doors there. Or not trap door, uh, pressure plate. Is there obsidian pressure plates in this? No, 
Well, mod adds those pressure obsidian pressure plates that uh, mobs can't. Doesn't work with mobs. All right, does that work? Yeah. All right. So you did need that. Now, apparently, if you connect it with redstone conduit, you can do either like a redstone clock, but apparently, you this redstone. Redstone alloy wire again. Dang it. Oh, I just have enough. We do this. And binder. And I have no idea. I haven't tried this. Uh, usually I try a lot of this stuff in a test world. So we'll do it. Well, that's not how I wanted that to work. Apparently, uh, <laughs> uh, apparently said stab falls. For some reason, I was I just assumed like it wouldn't fall. And I'm about to drown. There we go. All right. Let's try this again. Put that there. <laughs> oh, shoot. I need my wrench. Wrench, wrench, wrench. That. Get a wrench. So awkward sometimes. Um, yeah, strong signal. There we go. So if you do the strong signal to that, should do. Yeah. There we go. So I need a lock breaker. And we could farm some. I know probably doing it right here is not the smartest of ideas. Yeah, I should probably put it somewhere where I'm not going to have to listen to it. Um, there we go. And then maybe we'll uh, <laughs> feed the sugarcane into the, the thing and run it off sugarcane. It's kind of funny. Uh, block breaker. What do we have? That is... That's for that's like a cobble gem, isn't it? If I remember, that's not like the actual like block breaker. What's the actually addictions? Additions, not editions. Uh, here, oh breaker, conductive wire. I mean, this stuff is like really easy to make. Yeah. All right. Just kidding. <laughs> Getting a little ahead of myself here. Uh, we need aluminum and metal. All right. Uh, I should just be following the things. Um, all right. I could. There's probably a way to break that before we can get the actual additions. I'll have to look that up. Um, like block or something. That uh, extra utilities in here. Mechanical user, is that still a thing? No, I don't think so. Um, anyway. There we go. We are powering our batteries off. But as we can see, it's not very viable at the moment because it is burning through so much of it. So it definitely needs to be like automated or uh, I can really uh, use sugarcane for that. And but that I hate how it does like the first battery instead of filling up all four. Uh, I don't think these have an internal buffer like they do in the other version of Tech. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's do that in there. What are the um, upgrade kits look like? 
Uh, yeah, I'm not going to want to do this oh, electrical steel. So, okay, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. And how do you get that? You get electrical steel. Oh, I smelled our steel and silicon. Uh, yeah, get a little ahead of yourself here. All right, uh, let's see, what do we got? So, magnet. Well, that's easy. I wouldn't mind a magnet, actually. I'm trying to follow, like, the quests as much as possible, but, uh, especially for all the The item rewards? Out of iron again. I am. I don't want to be spending all this on iron. So I maybe need to go find a, a vein. But we're not doing that. Um, I think that'll be okay for now because we're gonna need a bunch of iron coming up here. Flux, flux magnet. There we go. And there is a jetpack. Um, not gonna do this yet, but uh, what does this want? Uh, unlike yeah, blah blah blah. We do got that. Now that you have everything you need to, you you put it all together. Blah blah blah. You put full and water. Transfer and there we go. All right, that's actually cool. I mean, we are getting like we are getting coins pretty quick here, to be honest. I'm getting them faster than I'm using them, even though I'm buying ores. But uh, yeah. All right, and I've heard these obsidian furnaces aren't very good. Oh, and look, if you pick up this item while it has fuel, the fuel will be destroyed. Uh, maybe. Uh, should read tooltips sometimes. Does it say that on the other one? They, oh yeah, the big red letter or yeah, big red writing. Don't pick it up with the fuel in there. That's funny. I'm just so used to this stuff like just dropping. So like if I do that, do that. No, oh, do these not charge in there? Not charging a CEF? I'm not sure actually. The magnet. Yeah. Alright. Uh maybe. I just sworn it would have Oh it does. Alright. What am I talking about? Uh it looks like it prioritizes batteries first though. Still learning. Uh Definitely still learning how the power kind of works. But all right, um, I think that is kind of like, looks like, oh, no, there's stuff here. Battery buffer. 16 slot. Oh, I don't know about. <laughs> all right, so this is 64 tin wires, and each tin wire is going to be, I mean, that's 64 plates, which is two stacks of tin. Um, I'm not going to do that yet. Right, but it did look like it did open up. Yeah. All right. So we're opening up L the LVH. Um, it looks like it wants us to get a wire mill, which is for these circuits. And yeah, let's take a look at these components. Put all those in. And I need to go farm up a whole bunch of wood. Too. I mean, you get so much of it from spruce, it's easy. All right, so it wants four motors. Now, these are going to, I'm going to be putting in the crafting grid over there because these are quite annoying. Uh, let me get some of this crafted up and let's see if we can get the basic wire mill built for the end of this episode, but lots of crafting here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to s store these in here, I think. So. Yep, let me do this and we will be right back. Okay, we are almost ready to craft this up. I just need to...
couple more things here. I have enough tin. I thought I had tin. Yeah. Smelt a bit more tin. I went and got a whole lot of wood and smelted that up. Yeah, and we're good over there for a little while. So I'm just kind of storing it in there uh, for now. So we need a couple. I think I need four. Four uh, tin wires. Why did I just make eight? <laughs> oh well. Wait. Did, did I, I? I thought I only had. Did, oh, I guess I made. Yeah, I made eight plates. So I was thinking four. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um. Oh well. Well, we'll use a lot of those. So there is that. There. Red alloy. We need. Some of this and i just realized i used up all that rubber oh i have some right here and i think i'm gonna make a we'll replace these with the wrought iron just so they last longer that's and i also forgot to put the vacuum tube recipe in there i'll do that time that I need that I'm gonna be making a lot of these maybe I should put this in a save that in a thing well I don't know yeah might as well I guess there's no no harm in having that in there. All right, and then just right click to save that. So LV machine hall. We'll put this right here. Then we need the four motors, which we should have everything in there. And we'll switch these fine copper wires when we build the wire mill. But I had to do them the more expensive way. Well, actually, since we're going to change it, we might as well. Now, oh, yeah, I might as well just do it. The I couldn't remember what the other one was. <laughs> I'll just do it in this crafting table, and then we'll put the... Right, that is cheaper, right? Yeah, you get four from one wire, as opposed to one ingot to one wire. All right, we'll go over that when we... <laughs> Uh, in a second. So, all right, there is that. Four motors. We need a two more circuits. I think we have everything. Yep. Two more tin cables. Just notice stuff spins. I love that. Whatever mod does that, I love that. All right, so there we go. There is the basic wire mill. I keep expecting the uh, Project Ozone sound to play <laughs> when I complete quests, and it doesn't. It makes me sad. All right, so there is the LV wire mill. Now we can place this down, and unfortunately, with the Power and Greg Tech Community Edition, um, I can't only output. Like if I have a machine, this down. If I only want to put a 1x cable down, I would have to only have one battery in there. But if I have four batteries in there, this entire line needs to be 4x cable or be able to handle the um, four amps. So. Um, like having 16 batteries in here, every single cable on the line, even if it was six miles away, would need to be 16x cable, which um, I do not like that. I much prefer the way it's done in uh, Greg Tech New Horizons, where if there's only one amp coming in the machine, you can have a 1x cable, even have 16 batteries in here, but you could have a 1x cable and it wouldn't burn up. 
But if I put down, well, we could, I don't think we'll have anything explode. I can try. I don't really want to like burn up cable though. Um, maybe <laughs> we'll, we'll demonstrate that at a later date uh, when I can craft these up a little bit cheaper. All right, but there we go. So I'm putting the power down the line into the wire mill. And as we can see, it is full of power. Now, run that and get our two wires per ingot. And then if we want to do those other things, we can send these back through. And uh, get the fine copper wires. Now we can use these to craft up some of the components. So the vacuum tubes and uh, the resistors. Now we can use the fine copper wires instead of the more expensive copper wire. So this is three ingots each. Now we're gonna get one ingot and one, we have even extra because we get four of these copper wires per ingot. So that just dramatically changed the price of that actually. So I can change this to that. any way to like oops yeah you need to it looks like you need to craft up that thing to save the recipe which is a bit of a pain to be honest but uh store where is that there it is but there we go so Unlock that. Oh, this is deadly. There we go. Uh, we need to make sure all the items are in there and we can craft it up. Yeah. So let's lock that. How do we get rid of that? I don't remember how to get rid of this. Because that's not the recipe that is. And how do you get rid of things in here? Middle click? No. Left click. Shift right click? No. I'll have to look that up because I actually don't know how to get rid of that or yeah and I have no idea how to get rid of that that's funny but all right anyway there we go there is our first machine and uh yeah pretty cool oh yeah a low or I remember I heard about this um but we'll get more into that at a later date um yeah next episode uh we'll do a little more of the quests and uh Look at that. We're already doing the things and we're not even, I wasn't even trying to do the quest, but I just happened to do it. Um, just because I know what I am doing. Yeah. LS Melter will, uh, yeah. I don't know. LS Melter is probably next uh, so we can get some steel. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of any other. This is, I mean, that makes these cheaper and everything. So, yeah, everything, just anything that will make our these things cheaper is what we're going to want to craft up next. And it does look like the recipe. All right, we're not getting into that quite yet. But it does look like the, the thing. Ah, right, plate bending machine is probably what. There's a compactor, compressor. All right, so the compressor is what does it. We don't have a plate bending machine, I don't think. Yeah, there is no metal bender. It's the compressor. And that requires two pistons and steel. That looked like steel. So. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Locked behind something. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one. There it is.